Um, so how's school going, special? <laughs> 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 uh, some yeah, of the challenges. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the challenges of of school within this uh, COVID era. Word, word for word, what you just said. Whatever you can say on camera. If you say I pick for me, I mean you can, you know. Hey, you can okay. you can dress it up as you need. We can't give you a false name if you want. My 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 testimony for Cypher is this. Ah, uh, see, now you're calling them a, out. See, nobody asked you to do all that. I'm not care. Tell them to the uh-huh. ring the doorbell. <laughs> right. All right. Me tell them to their face. Uh, tell the, tell, tell the, uh, the superintendent to link me if he, he have any questions. Uh, right. You right. know, I, I find the system very, very poor and unresponsive. I know it was the first day. The system, completely- you're talking about... Technology-wise, or yes. just the processes? No, technology in okay. terms of virtual virtual learning. Okay. And, I mean, you know, I consider myself computer savvy, and mm. I had issues. So I can I can think about people who are not very savvy, are not comfortable using a computer. I'm so moving is, around is, in is, an app. Is Zoom they use or something else? Something they use, other? They use, they use Zoom, but the mm-hmm. issue is a lot of time the links die, mm-hmm. right? And um, a lot of time the link don't even work in the first place. Uh, and you pay your Wi-Fi bill, so you're sure it's not that. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure about it. Okay, I'm just right? checking, you know. I'm, All right. I'm pretty sure. And then the, 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 the teachers, their lack of training is also an issue mm. because, you know, Sometimes you're sitting there waiting uh, for the, the teacher to acknowledge you in, in, in the Zoom in the Zoom call. And you're mm-hmm. wondering, why isn't this automatic, mm-hmm. right? Why, isn't it, uh, why is it that the teacher have to let you in? Because you would hear her mm-hmm. while she's teaching a class and you're already in there saying, um. oops, oh, I forget to let these people in. And I'm saying to myself, <laughs> what? <laughs> that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, right? learning that's curve, like, learning curve. Yeah, that's like closing the classroom door and the kids <laughs> there knocking and <laughs> no teacher there to let you in. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, so, you know. So teacher won't let them in, that's one issue. Right, Then, and then, all right. The, the, the stability of the system that they're using. Again, I feel so this is your Wi-Fi, you know. You no, blame it inside no, here. I feel so it's your no, Wi-Fi. No, all right, let me tell you why I know. <laughs> let me tell you why. I remember. I'm a hey, tell her to come over here and try it and I'll see if it works. No, I am I am a member of my neighborhood app. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with my yeah, yeah, neighborhood yeah. app. Yeah, man, and yeah, we, definitely. We had tons yeah, of yeah, people on there asking the same question. Is anybody able to get on, you know, to, to, to the website? Because a lot of people in my subdivision have been asking, you know, what's going on? I mean, my child has been trying to get on all morning and this is the afternoon. So, I mean- yeah, So they've never is... test this? They've never simulate the you amount of load that is, they expected? That is, that is the first question I ask. Yeah. They started almost a full Months after everybody else, uh-huh. right? Because this is September, right? Uh, a lot of school districts already had this going on in August, so they had a they had time to actually look at other school districts and see what they were doing wrong, or even to correct a lot of problems that they they see that is potential problems. Yeah. You know that happened. First day, you can't even get to see your teacher. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, so you're talking about Cypher, but I mean, from just hearing from a lot of people in other schools, like HISD, I, I heard they had hell on their first day. Um, so, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I, it just, you know, th- this was kind of like the, you know, when school locked down at first, I don't know if they, if most people did this, right? So I, I, it, it shouldn't be all that new. I mean, at our school, we kind of, you know, we did virtual school, you know, it was a much, much smaller class, so it wasn't really much of an issue. Um, but I, I'm, I'm hearing a lot more uh, complaints, you know, obviously legitimate complaints from parents now 
than I did back in March when the lockdown first happened. So I don't, I'm not really sure what the big difference is. Well, from my experience, the big, the big difference is the constant interaction that's going on now mm -hmm. versus what was happening in March. In March, mm -hmm. they were mostly just giving kids modules to do and turn in. There wasn't okay. really much interaction back and forth live, you know. But no, right. it's required because they don't have an option. They have to teach kids because this is a new year, a new semester. They actually have to do some teaching. Back in March, they just gave kids work to oh, do. Oh, okay, and, like you know, they give you out some worksheet to do. And... Right, uh -huh. what they were doing. So now, so, dialogue back and forth, people asking, exactly. kids asking questions. Exactly. So yeah, now the curriculum they involved. They have exactly. to teach these kids in order to pass these standardized tests that actually lead to funding and how they get paid and things like that. So they got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And then, and then uh, you hear that you hear that some school district I won't call that particular one name. Where you have call them, call them all. <laughs> you have you have more than more than five thousand kids still don't have any equipment to log on. They're doing virtual school, but they still haven't even got their laptop yet. And it's September. Right? Oh, it's wow. September. So alright, so, so are it's five thousand kids that's that don't have a laptop that we're supposed to be don't, don't gifted have a, a laptop. laptop. Right. And don't have because they have them on back order. Right. And you know, you know, when when I ask some of the administrators as to why why we still have those on back order, you knew this was gonna happen. You know, they were like, Well, we know that we were gonna start the new school system and we ordered some and we thought more people were gonna do face to face. It's just a lot of excuses yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to hear. Yeah, yeah. You, that that sounds like know. HISD. <laughs> <laughs> My youth. Hey, I'm a product of HISD. Lamar yeah, High, baby. You are fine to people here now. But you know, but, I mean, but, it's... Yeah, that, that's... Uh, um, that, that's one aspect of this that, you know, I, I, I don't know, like, all across the region, you know, who is doing in-person school versus virtual school versus, you know, a combination of both. But look, um, uh, a lot of kids don't have money for equipment. A lot of kids just do not, have, do, do not yeah. have Wi-Fi access. Uh, so what happens to those kids? We just, uh, just, I, just, just leave them? I mean, what? I, I spoke to a, a, um, a administrator in one of these schools close to my neck of the woods mm -hmm. you know and she was talking about throughout the year she don't think that the district really put great thought into it because of what our government was saying mm -hmm. and i think she was talking mostly about mr trump who was uh, saying oh you know we're going there this next thing, this this thing would be through by mother's hmm. day you don't have to worry about yeah. it you know uh oh, it's we, gonna we disappear this, okay right so, magic so magic these these school districts were listening to stuff like that mm. and didn't think that they would actually have to come to this fork in the road where they're at right now. And and once again, we we, we come down to the leadership being the problem. The yeah. man in, in, in the big house All right. giving that, false hope to people, that, saying, hey, you know, that's, uh, around, we have a vaccine coming up. Kids will be uh, school, fine going back to school. And I think these school districts are really listening and hoping that this is what's going to happen. So they didn't yeah. prepare. 